yes children good afternoon hope you all are doing good okay fine hope you all did your periodic assessment well and this is your first and uh, new experience okay fine apart from all those things after such a long time we all are meeting again for social history class okay and last chapter what and all the concept we have learnt children just can you please recall or reglance those concepts what and all we have learned so in that chapter we have understood about yes so we understood about how dates are very much important okay apart from that how we have divided the history okay so in the earlier we can we could have seen that the history has been divided based on the yes hindu and the muslim and then later yes we have divided the history into three kinds one it is medieval history ancient history medieval history and the modern history okay fine children so after that we understood about you know immediately they started to tell about you know the british rule how british rulers were saving the documents and how they were recording the documents all the things they were recording in the you know the government officers the administrative officers and they you know that helped us to you know read about the history all those things we have learned so how come the british people came to india why british people were recording the documents in india so that and all the things you know we will be studying okay so in today's class we are going to see about you know the chapter name itself it's denoting straight to territory so what it's telling children or what you can understand by the name itself straight to territory what do you mean by trade yes the trade means the buying and selling activity will be considered as a trade so the trade means buying and selling activity so here it is telling trade buying and selling activity to territory how come the british people were doing trade and how they become the rulers of the country so that we are going to see in this class okay so before we start with the chapter in your textbook we'll be seeing about some introduction and important concept that is the pre knowledge about the british people okay sorry children so before that we have to understand that thing okay we'll see you know about the introduction that is how before that you know how british people came to india and about their history and how they became so powerful in the world you know and then not only india they were ruling the many countries in the world so about all those things we'll be seeing today okay fine children let's start with the yes so here i am telling you people that is the british empire is the largest empire to exist at any point of history so here we can see that you know if not logically but it is the true fact that you know the british empire is the largest empire we could have seen in our history so if we start reading about history in detail so we'll understand the, about that so it is a one of the largest empire that exist in our history okay how they became so powerful and the largest in the whole world that is the global empires how it became how it became possible so that we are going to see before that we'll see how the britain has been formed okay so we know that the britain are now we call it as a united kingdom which is its you know the capital city children that is london okay now we'll call it as a united kingdom that is a great britain so before it was you know by merging so many countries together that is around four you know three to four countries merging together it has formed the great britain okay so now we can see that it is in yes the northwest in the european continent okay it's in the northwestern part of european continent 
and sea by merging of the scotland england and then wales and the northern ireland together they form this great britain okay guys remember by you know merging so many countries together they have formed the britain that is a great britain so they are by merging scotland the major two countries that is scotland england and then wales and the yes the northern i know the ireland the northwestern ireland together so they form this great britain so when it has become or when they merge together even the scottish people and the english people agreed together to form a single country then only they merged together and they formed this you know the great britain see here under the scottish king the james scotland and england merged together so these two were the you know the quite you know the powerful and the big countries they merged together under the you know the leadership of the king james the scottish king james okay so finally when they merged together yes it is in the year of 7 1707 okay in the year of 1707 the great britain has been formed by merging scotland england wales and the other countries together okay guys remember this is very much important the year and how great britain has been formed now we call it as a united kingdom so make your own notes children these are all the very much important concepts but it is not there in your textbook okay yes and the next one we can see about the royal navy so you know the british people were giving much importance for the navy and this was you know the royal navy was one of the powerful you know navy in the whole world from 17th century till the second world war okay guys remember the royal navy was the powerful navy in the world from 17th century till the second world war okay so the british people they believed in you know the trade the trade is the only you know the source to expand you know the richness of the country and so that is the reason they started to do trading the trading activities in the many other countries also okay slowly they started with the trade activity and finally you know very slowly they started to conquer the countries and they started to rule the countries okay and then we can see about we we understood about the royal navy right so after that we can see some sky rockets and all they were using the sky rockets so because they were giving much importance for the navy so later they started to invest the many you know the more investment the british people were giving much investment only on yes it's only on the ships and the guns okay because you know they were investing much on because we know that the royal navy was a powerful one and they were doing the trade in earlier we didn't have much about the air ways so the maximum the waterways only they were using for the trade activities okay so that time what happens they were giving the much importance or the investment they were putting the more and more investment on ships and guns that means the capital the money they were investing only on the to purchase or to buy the ships and the guns or to manufacture ships and the guns okay and later we can see that see in 1600 it conquered north america and west indies so as i told you people what happened so you know in the earlier time also they started to believe in trade okay so they started to do trade with the many other countries also okay so here we can see the great britain so it started to conquer the north america along with that the west indies okay so simultaneously what happened they started to do the trade activities and slowly they started with the to conquer the political activities they con they started to conquer the countries okay as we know that 
India is not only the single, you know, the colony for the British people. There were the many colonies were there for them. Okay, so these are also few examples of that. Okay, and later, see, they started to believe in commercial trade. Okay, you know, earlier they were just doing the trading activities that just the buying and selling activities. So later they started. What is the meaning of commercialization, children? So they started with the you know merchandisation that is they started to buy the goods or the raw materials for the cheaper prices and they started to sell those goods for the higher prices okay they'll find you know finally they'll manufacture into finished products and they used to sell it for the higher prices okay so that time the commercial trade they started and the same time they started with the navigation act the new act they started are passed that is called as navigation act so that means see the navigation acts were a series of laws passed by british parliament that imposed restrictions on colonial trade so they started to impose more and more restrictions on the colonies the countries which they were controlling are the colonies of that you know the britain so that time what happened the people they have to sell the raw materials only to the british people and the manufactured goods the whatever the manufactured are the manchester goods they call it as okay the britain manufacturing goods they call it as a manchester goods in britain there is a place called manchester so there they used to convert the raw material into finished products so that products again they used to sell back to the same colonial countries because they were seeing the huge population because even in india we can see that you know the population is more so that time what happened of course the people has to purchase the goods so again finally they used to send back the you know the same goods to that so they started with the mini restrictions there was you know there the colonial countries they didn't have any rights to sell the goods or the raw materials apart from the british people or the east india company okay other countries it it may be like a portuguese it may be like a french people dutch people so those you know the companies the people are the colonies colonial trade was not happening with those people they had a the lot of restrictions okay and then so in india also at the same time around 1600 they had an agreement for the trade activity so that is what here we saw the name the title itself it's denoting that is trade to territory so that time what happened you know they took an agreement or the permission just to have a trade in india okay to start up a trade within india okay so that time see the permission for the trade in india they had the permission they took the permission in the you know the 17th century that is 1600 okay so with that trade permission they started slowly to come into india okay so at that time they entered india okay see here sir in mid 17th century they expanded to east you know asia and then not only the east asia and the southeast asia and even the india okay guys remember in mid 17th century the british people they started to expand their trade or the colonial activities earlier it was not like a colony they were you know they were just expanding their trade only so in mid 17th century they started to expand their trade activity to east asia southeast asia and along with india guys remember east asia southeast asia and along with india okay so we finally understood in the 16th around 1600 or the mid 17th century that is the 17th century this british people came to india with the name of trade okay every time we used to discuss about that the british people came to india with the main idea of trade to make the profit but later 
how they started to 